$2 billion investment by NVIDIA into Synopsys. Synopsys is also on chip designing software. Sounds very familiar. We did talk about a company called ARM, right? Arm Holding. Does it mean that Synopsys is like a competitor of Arm Holding? Because when I research about Arm Holding, Synopsys doesn't come into my picture. I thought NVIDIA also have relationship with Arm. Why they built another with Synopsys? So I have a lot of questions. So what happened is like Nvidia invested two billion into Synopsys. Synopsys is a listed company as well. So they bought two point six percent stake and then uh, the price at around four hundred fifteen dollars. So right now the share price is four hundred sixty dollars. So it went up by ten percent. Buying into it and the share price went up. Alright. So what they are looking at is to merge like Nvidia AI computing power with Synopsys chip design software. I'm interpreting in the sense that Nvidia are relying on Synopsys chip design and then actually Synopsys chip design also relying on computing power of of like NVIDIA to use AI to design their chip. So it's like, you help me with computing power, I help you with chip design kind of stage. Huh? That's why they went into this investment. What I think NVIDIA is good right here is they didn't make it as exclusive. So even if Synopsys want to work with other people, they can still work with other people. Maybe go further deeper into it. So there's this collaboration. Basically, Synopsys come to designing, right? They also like to use AI computing power to speed up their designing process. And then with designing process created, a better chip, right? So they also can supply back to NVIDIA in maybe their Blackwell, their server, uh, their overall chip upgrading. And all this in near a day, not just for NVIDIA, it also helps speed up go-to-market of chip design. You know, they started off in the 80s and then uh, they relocate to uh, Silicon Valley and then uh, with name Optimal Solutions. As and when right now, they are the largest EDA. It's uh, electronic design companies and then they dominate in uh, semiconductor design software market. Initially, I thought, isn't ARM the semiconductor design software uh, leader. From what I understand, they're also selling software. And then I'm not so sure whether they also so-called licensing company because they are a leading IP provider. I didn't look further into their revenue model, but as a software company, they are selling software. I'm not sure whether they are doing licensing and then gaining from chip sales as well. And in other words, getting royalty. They have 38% operating margin. And if you go higher level from their so-called gross profit margin, right? So their gross profit margin is in the 80s. So it's not as high as the ARM 90 over percent, but it's still 80% gross profit margin and then their sales are going double digit. And then previously, they also invested in this thing called NCS. I didn't read much into it, but I think NCS is a company that provide a lot of solutions for Chinese company. So that's why when this acquisition happened, right, China also very alert about this acquisition. Where they are is at this EDA, Electronic Design Automation and IP, and then supporting embedded software, foundry, semiconductor, and electronic system. So they are the important backbone of the accelerating of electronic innovation. They are number one, yeah, but they are slightly into a market share, a few percentage more than Cadence, although they claim they are number one. So what is the difference right here? So they are in a dual poly market, so standing around 38%, if I'm not wrong, yeah, 38%, and then Cadence is at 36%. So it's like a neck in neck market dominance. So I asked Manus to help me understand the difference between AI holding and Synopsys and what does it differ? So I guess a simple analogy is like ARM is the blueprint. It's like the basic foundation of chip designing. Once you lay the foundation, right, you need to design different uh, gap between. So for example, if it's a house, right, you need to design uh, doors, windows and stuff. I think Synopsys is designing the, the upper layer kind of thing. La. So this is what I understand right here. Uh, ARM is the architect and then uh, Synopsys is the tool provider or just like a chip designing provider. And then uh, more specifically is designing automation software. So what I learned right here is when you design all these uh, chips, you lay all the different layers, right? You need to make sure that all these things can work when it's produced. So before you go into production, you make sure the modular system already proven before they send into production. So this EDA tools or the EDA chip designing helps faster go to market. All right, so this is what I learned. But if you ask me what does it mean further than that, I need to dig a bit more. Lah. But let's come to the numbers, all right? So in your financial income statement, initially it switched off. If you switch off, right, you cannot see like their margins, so called the percentage. So when you switch on common size, that's where you can see the gross profit as percentage and then net profit as percentage. And then when you open up, right, you will be a normal bar chart. Lah. So it's like very messy. So you switch to line chart. So once you switch to line chart, you can see the laying on top of like revenue. Uh, you will see how the net profit margin has improved. Their gross profit margin stay around the same. So you can see that there's uh, operating leverage right here. Means the bigger their revenue size, 
the better they are profit margins. Let's go back to ARM. So right now they cannot like compare within companies as easy. Even if with fiscal.ar, right, they cannot compare company as straightforward ARM holding. You see that margin, gross profit margin is tremendously higher and then switch to line chart. You see that their gross is very high because licensing and royalties both. But you come to bottom line, they aren't as good as synopsis. I guess the lev operating leverage hasn't kicked in yet. They're still finding out how to increase their revenue lah, for ARM. Just a quick update on some of the things that are also experimenting. So this is by their AI chat. Lah. So they're telling us crowd strike recent earnings like growing 73% year on year. Like quarter or quarter ending ARR is like 23%. So it's a quick view of their earnings. Also inspired by Kev. So Kev also shared uh, Base44, if I'm not wrong. He shared uh, on quick analyzing of company. So I also do the same. I say, wow, oh, I also want to see whether how can I build that. So that's why I also built this. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I use Google AI Studio to create a app to analyze company. But it's just like for fun, lah, huh? just I just asked him to build easy to analyze, like so that I can quickly understand what is synopsis, what do they actually do, EDA software, what is their mode, leadership, high switching cost, who is their competitor, like Cadence Design, Siemens. Actually, Ansys is their own company. Huh? I don't know why they put it under competitor. And then what is their growth plan? And then their reason highlight, what is their red flags? Yeah. But I haven't really uh, looked into like reading and verifying all the data. Lah, huh? So this is the things that I built using Google AI Studio. So it's for fun, lah, just, just playing around and then playing with prompters. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching to the end. Before I go, do remember to click subscribe, comment your thoughts, and share with someone who need a little bit of investing motivation today. See ya.